it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Today we're going to be DIYing some Target dollar spot finds. I know I cannot walk into a Target without stopping by the Target dollar spot. It's right there when you first walk in, so it's hard to resist. And a lot of times, personally, my Target doesn't have very much at all. It's just not a very great spot where they keep things stocked. So a lot of times it's pretty bare, but if you do a little digging and you can like look in bins and everything's a mess, you can kind of dig through bins, you can still find some great things. So don't give up hope if you see lots of empty shelves. Start digging through other things. There might be some treasures in there too. And that's what I actually had to do with these items that I'm going to show you first. I actually went to Target two different times and found a few items each time I went. So those are the things that we're going to be working on today. They have a little bit more of a modern vibe, but I think they're going to be beautiful to add to your home's decor for the springtime. All right, to start, I wanted to show you the items that I was able to find, and then we will see how many different projects I can make using these items so first up is this basket i love rattan i love natural fibers and this one was five dollars i also found this other basket i love these these are like the boho style you can find the bigger ones at Co or at costco at ikea the tag ripped off of this i'm assuming since this one was five dollars this one was probably five dollars too so so cute I wish they would have had more of these. This is the only one I could find. It's a terracotta pot, but I love the shape of it. Very um, sleek and modern. This one was $5. They also only had one of these. That's why I say my target is so hit and miss. Um, this one is a separated metal bucket with a metal handle on the top. This one was $5. Also a wreath. I think this would be so, so pretty with the bright greens for springtime. This was only $3. I've seen these in white. I could not find white. I found the gray ones though, which I love, or I may spray paint them white. We'll see. For three of them, that was $5. I love these. I actually made a mirror wall hanging using something similar to this and a bench actually and i will link those down in the description box below pretty sure those are still up and on my channel so check those out after this video but this is a really really cool way to get those looks without having to actually buy the tile they are uh, what is this called wall tiles but they're peel and stick so these come with 10 sheets in a pack they actually had a couple of them so i grabbed two these were five dollars per pack I love Target's towels. Look how cute this one is. It's got like the snake plant on the front one. And then this one has tassels on it. I love this. It's really pretty and matches the terracotta. I love that combo right there. Um, and then this other one, I haven't even opened it. It has two towels in it. Again, one that kind of has a fringe on the bottom with grayish taupey stripes. And then this one, I've been interested to see what this one actually says. It says, nature does not hurry, and yet everything is accomplished. How cute! I didn't know I was going to like that that much. So it's got a couple stripes at the top and at the bottom, and then that cute saying and the pretty scripted font in the middle. I'm going to get creative with that. Also, this, I love this. I wish I had time to actually press some real flowers, but it takes about a month for... If you want to press flowers, if you find this, you want to press flowers, or maybe you want to press flowers now until you can find this or something similar, you want to take flowers and make sure they lay flat in a book. You might even want to put um, some newspaper or something on them and stick them in a book and push it down, put something heavy on the top to flatten it and smash it. And then it takes about a month. So you want to let that sit for a whole month and then you'll have beautiful dried flowers that you can add to frames like this. We'll see what I use this for. And then last but not least, again, this is the only one I could find. I love these baskets. They're kind of canvas, but they and they have metal around the top edge to keep the, the top open, but there's no other support. So they actually fold down flat. So these would be great for like a car 
or something like that. So when you need it, you can pop it up. When you don't need it, you can flatten it and store it. And it doesn't take up much of room. And this one was $5. So those were my Target dollar spot finds. Now let's get to crafting. All right, so I think I'm probably most excited about these wall decals or stickers or whatever they are, wallpaper. It just says wall tiles on the front. Um, and what I wanna do is make a little plant holder. So I have these tiles. These literally are about 10 cents each at the hardware store. They're four inch square size white plain tiles. They're very similar to subway tiles and what they're made of, but these are square obviously. And they're actually the right size for these decals. So first thing I'm gonna do is pop these on there and then I'm gonna piece them together with some super glue and make a really quick modernized pretty planter. I feel like you could make several of these. You'd be great on a porch, on a patio, on a table, use them as a centerpiece. So many different ideas of these, but let's see how this turns out. All right, so I've decided to use hot glue to put these together. And I actually get a lot of questions about my hot glue gun and I just had to order another one. These are only like 10 bucks and you can get them on Amazon. I will link this one down below. I'll show you why I really, really like it. All right, so I think the reason I get a lot of questions about it is because it has a flat base on the bottom, so you can literally just sit it up on your counter. It's not like hanging over like this and has to be propped. Um, this still, you know, could fall over, so you wanna be careful. I actually use this. So I actually use this under it quite a bit. Um, this is a, like, rubber mat, and I'll link this down below too. So sometimes it does drip. It's not as bad as some, though, um, but just, just wanted to let you know, I'll link it down in the description box, but I'm gonna get this warming up so we can put these tiles together. Now we're gonna make this springtime tool organizer for your garden using the canvas tote from Target. Like I said, this was only $5. I created a really simple text design on my Silhouette Cameo Studio. I mirror imaged that and cut it out on my Silhouette Cameo on some heat transfer vinyl. I'll link the kind that I use down in the description box. You can find this on Amazon as well. All I'm doing here is just weeding the material out to reveal my backwards font. This was a little bit different to actually add on the heat transfer vinyl to this because it was pretty awkward. It doesn't lay flat because it has that metal trim around the edges at the top. So I went to the corner of my countertop and laid my design onto 
the tote and took my easy press and set it on 315 degrees and let it sit for 30 seconds at a time. There's the button on the top that you press and it counts down the seconds for you. And once I had it completely heat pressed on, I let it cool down and removed that plastic top coating to reveal my design on the front of the tote. Then I just found some random containers from around the house and from Dollar Tree and placed those inside the tote. That way I could later add in all of my gardening tools and even a fake plant just to add a little bit of greenery to it. I have mine displayed on our back porch. We have a very, very small back porch and so I have a console table back there and that gives me some cute space to display some items on, including this new tote now, but it also holds some of our gardening tools. So it provides a little bit of storage along with adds a little bit of style to our back porch as well. And now to give this cute basket a little bit more style by using some black paint, some painter's tape, and a foam paintbrush. We're going to add a design to the bottom half of this basket. And it made it a lot easier to pop the top of the basket down back into the inside of the basket. So it would have a hard line at the top for me to use as a guide. That's where I put the top points of my triangles and I just marked those off with some painter's tape and took my paint and painted within those triangles. I did end up just doing one triangle at a time. I was going to just tape off the entire basket and realized that um, it was just going to be easier to get more symmetrical triangles if I went one at a time. To add the paint, I just stippled on the paint with my foam paintbrush in an up and down motion, trying to make sure I stayed on the inside edges of the painter's tape so that none of the paint would bleed underneath that tape. And I apologize for the blurriness of this next shot. However, I wanted to show you the process of going all the way around the basket and just show you that it does, go, it does work out when you tape off the triangles one at a time. I would love to hear what you would display in this basket if you would add anything at all. You can see here I have added a clear glass vase along with a little piece of greenery in the top. This would be so cute in other ways too and I would love to hear your ideas. You can leave those down in the comments below. Up next, we're gonna make the most simple and easy plant stand for our Target Dollar Spot terracotta pot. I have a round plaque along with a square dowel rod that I got from the craft store and also my handsaw and miter box. Up first, I am actually just marking off my dowel rod at eight inches long so that I would have four pieces total. And then we're going to cut it down using our handsaw and miter box. I will link this one down in the description box too. It is just from Amazon, very inexpensive. Definitely worthwhile having one of these on hand for your craft room as they're great for cutting small wood pieces like these dowel rods. Um, even popsicle sticks and you just basically saw right down into your wood It has a little slot in the top of the plastic that keeps your cuts straight Next, I measured up from the bottom of the legs six inches and put a little mark. That's where we're going to place the top of our wooden disc. And that is going to make them all even so your plant stand will sit flat. I also marked off 
four sections on the round disc and the, that's the spot where we are going to attach our legs onto that way they are all spaced out evenly now i'm using hot glue to attach my legs onto the disc however i would definitely recommend using some wood glue and a little brad nail if you can Hot glue will definitely work, but you'll get a much longer life out of your plant stand if you use wood glue and a nail. Next, we're gonna make a super simple and quick update to this metal bucket that makes it beautiful for the springtime. I am actually using a design from my Etsy shop and I'll link it down in the description box below. So if you have a vinyl machine, you can download the SVG file and scale it to fit whatever project that you want, even large size for a wood sign. I'm actually using Oracle number 651 matte black vinyl and I will link this along with the design and the transfer tape that I use down in the description box. I like to give you guys sources so that if you want to recreate my projects, you have the ability to do that. So just always check down in the description box for all of those details. I'm basically just laying my design upside down on the transfer tape after I've weeded it out. I cut it out to make it a little bit more manageable and then you can peel your vinyl away from the paper backing and apply it onto your design. You just want to make sure that you have it straight and even and level and centered before you press down on your design all the way. I always like to take a squeegee. You can use a credit card or something hard and flat that you have on hand to just get all of those air bubbles out. Make sure you have it transferred really well before removing that transfer tape from the top and revealing your beautiful design. So inside I have some faux flowers, some cute scissors along with some jute in my bucket to kind of make it look like a cute little miniature flower market. Next is a very organic way to create a simple table runner. I am taking the towels from the Target dollar spot and I was going to fold them but realized it was not quite wide enough so I ended up just laying them flat. I put one in the center of my table first and then I laid two on the ends kind of hanging off the end of the table. And definitely next time I do this, I will iron them as those wrinkles definitely drive me crazy. I'm sure they probably do you guys too. So all I'm doing is literally just creating a very simple table runner using these towels. I loved the stripes. I love that it's kind of an eclectic look. And again, I just created a centerpiece using that terracotta pot from Target and some other greenery pieces and some candle uh, terracotta pots that I created in a previous tutorial, which I'll link up in the iCards if you wanna check that out. And then off to the sides, I added some, or two of these cute topiaries. These are from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I love those and I love creating um, little uh, vignettes using these during the springtime because of those cute terracotta pots. So this literally takes no time at all and the great thing is, is after you're tired of it, you can pull it off and use the hand towels in other ways too. Please take a second and hit that thumbs up button if this video inspired you. Subscribe if you haven't yet because I post new DIYs, tutorials, and inspiration here every single week. I'll have more ideas popping up on your screen that you can check out next. And I want to thank you all so, so much for watching today. I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting!